And hey guys, what's up? I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to another Epic Collection video. In today's video, I'm going to show you Venom Epic Collection Volume 5 Carnage and List. So, if you have been watching my videos for some time now, you probably know that I made a video about Venom Epic Collection 1 and 2, but no 3 and 4. Why? Well, because they don't exist yet. Uh, actually, Volume 4 will be released this September, but I don't know when Volume 3 will be released. We will get it at some point, but the Epic Collections aren't released in order, so I have no idea when exactly. So, with no further ado, let's start. So, this has all the features of a standard Marvel trade paperback, you know. The thin pages, uh, glossy paper, all this stuff. Um, it has 496 pages and it retails for $45. So, firstly, let's just take a look at this stunning cover drawn by Andrew Wildman, uh, which was originally used for Venom Carnitan List number 4. Here it is. So, here in the bottom we can see the title, Carnage and List, and part of the creative team. All of the people that contributed to this book are here. So, in the spine we can see, of course, the Marvel Epic Collection logo, the hero's name, and the title. There's also a little image of Venom, which is taken from this. Separation Anxiety for Eddie Brock and Venom. Okay, this image is actually the cover of Web of Spider-Man number 119, which is collected here. Here, as you can see, it's volume 5, as I said earlier, and it covers the years 1994 to 1995. Now you can just pause the video if you want to read the description. And now let's take a look at what it collects. So we have Spider-Man The Arachnus Project number 6. Uh, 1 through 5 uh, isn't collected completely, but there are some parts of it. Web of Spider-Man number 118 to 119. Spider-Man 52 to 53. Venom Separation Anxiety 1 through 4. Venom, Carnage and List 1 through 4, Venom, Sure Take Soul number 5, Uncanny Origin 7, and material from Venom, Sure Take Soul 1 through 4. Now, why does it only have material from Venom, Sure Take Soul 1 through 4? Uh, well, in this series, uh, there were two stories. The first story featured Venom, it was the main story with the scene eater and all the stuff. Well, the second story featured st some other characters like the jury or hybrid, so uh, they haven't collected these stories. Uh, but the fifth issue of this series uh, had two stories, both with Venom as the protagonist, so they are both collected here. Now, let's see how it looks inside. All the other Marvel Epic collections are here, and this actually continues here, here, Venom, Carnage and List, oh yeah. So you have seen the creative team, This, these are the contents, Spider-Man, the Arachnids Project. And actually we'll talk about the stories later, so let's just head to the back so we can see all the extras. So, here we can see some trading cards with a Venom, some pinups, covers, this was the cover of the first uh, trade paperback for, for Venom Carnage and List, it was released in 1996. If you notice, they look kind of similar, you know, here we have Venom choking Ben Riley, and here we have Carnage literally ripping off Eddie Brock's symbiote. And these are basically all the extras. It doesn't have that much. 
So now we can just talk about the stories. This volume starts with Spider-Man The Reckless Project. Uh, the first five issues aren't collected, uh, we only get some parts of them, we only get the parts with Venom, uh, but I think that they should have included the whole thing, because you can't really understand what's going on if you uh, haven't read the whole story. And I didn't, so I had to find the the rest of the series. Which was annoying, but... I mean, okay, it, it was worth it because it was a, a good story, not something too much, not something special, uh, just a good Spidey story. So the next story in this volume is The Exile Returns, the clone in his first solo adventure indeed. So this is the first time we see Ben Riley, the clone of Peter Parker, as the Scarlet Spider. And the first villain that the clone fought was Venom. This is actually a great story. I think it was better than the Arachnus Project. I really liked the fight between Scarlet Spider and Venom. And how we got to see Ben uh, realizing that he can't just ignore his powers and leave. So this was a great story. What I think uh, was cool is that Venom actually understood that he wasn't fighting uh, the original Spider-Man, Peter Parker, he was fighting someone else. Oh, here is actually uh, the first appear appearance of Kane, too. Then we have Venom Separation Anxiety. Another amazing story, because uh, Venom was imprisoned, uh, and they took uh, Eddie's symbiote away, so now Eddie, ha Eddie and the symbiote uh, have to learn how to survive without each other. And I think that seeing how they do it is actually very cool, uh, like we see the symbiote jumping from host to host so that uh, it can survive and eventually uh, goes back to Eddie Brock. And at some point, uh, the Life Foundation symbiotes kidnap Eddie Brock so that uh, he can teach them how to control their symbiotes. But I, I think you should read the rest for yourself, so I'm not spoiling anything. Then we have Carnage Unlist. Another great story here. So what happens here? Uh, some people make a video game about Carnage, and it probably has something to do with uh, the Maximum Carnage event, because here we can see Captain America. And Cletus Cassidy uh, gets access to it in, in his cell, so they give him a, a PC uh, using which uh, he can play the game. Uh, but they don't know that Carnage has learned how to travel through uh, computer cables and he travels through the cable that people used back then to connect to the internet and manages to escape. Of course he starts killing people and all this stuff, you know, his current. And I really liked the story too because of carnage and all the, you know, travel through cables things, which were funny but kind of made sense because people actually used cables back then to connect to the internet and <laughs> this actually has a cool uh, like cyber fight between Carnage and Venom this isn't the real world they are fighting in inside a computer or something I don't know oh and then we get Venom senior takes so what an amazing story this was uh, Sin the Sinister was a very important villain for Venom to become who he is. So without him, uh, this whole volume wouldn't even exist. So it's nice to see uh, Eddie Brock fighting a villain from his past, even though he isn't the original Sinister, but still. The story, the story was amazing. It, I think it was brilliant, and at some point... We even got to see Anne Wedding, Eddie Brock's ex-wife, 
uh, wearing the symbiote. Okay, not, I know, I don't know if I said use wearing, but you know what I mean. Yep, there she is, ladies and gents, C Venom. So, um, these were basically all the main stories, uh, but we also get a few pages from Spider-Man 2099 meets Spider-Man. Uh, when they get the pages uh, in which Venom appears. And I think that here they, uh, it was okay that they just included uh, these pages and not the whole thing because all the rest are unnecessary and they have nothing to do with Venom, so I'm okay with that. What I'm not okay with is how they didn't include the first five issues of Spider-Man The Arachnids Project. And then we have uh, Uncanny Origins featuring Venom. Um, this is basically the origin of Venom. It's This story is just retelling how Eddie Brock uh, became Venom and all this stuff. So, I mean, it's a nice story. I don't like the art, but it's called Uncanny Origins. So I guess that's why they, the art is like this. So yeah, it's, it was a nice story. Anyways, I think that this volume was actually the best um, of the three, or maybe it was in the same position as the first one. But uh, I'm giving is I'm giving this a four out of five. Actually, it all the stories here were awesome. I really liked all of them. So yeah, it's definitely worth it. And if you're a fan of Venom, you'll definitely love this. And if you're not, then still, it's awesome, read it. It's good stuff. So guys, this was today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, you can support me by subscribing, clicking the like button and allowing all notifications. Until the next time. Goodbye, true believers.